Hello guys, welcome to another live. How to fire your boss. That's today's topic. I've actually seen that today and I really love um, that topic, that theme. So uh, I kind of prepared what I had for today around that. <laughs> so uh, no matter uh, how much time you have for your business, to build your business and leverage it, to build your brand and uh, actually communicate with customers. And uh, there are probably five areas, five steps you need to do every single day. You need to find time for all of these in order to really make it work. So in the end, you can succeed and fire your bus. For those of you who are joining in, oh, <laughs> I just hit my light. <laughs> For those of you are joining in, just write me where are you coming from, where are you in the world, so uh, I can see who's watching. Guys, if you have four hours a day, really, uh, that's that's probably something like that you really need, like the basic basic foundation time that you need in order to build your business. If you have two and you're really building it part time, hello Angel, hi. <laughs> then uh, you need to just divide the time that I will be mentioning into two. If you have two hours and just really try to do every single thing that I will mention in today's video. Before uh, other people will join, I will just introduce myself for those of you who are probably watching the replay. My name is Lenka Gotslova and I help entrepreneurs and business owners to build and leverage their online businesses through social media and online communication. I also help them to build a brand and become influencers in their niche so they can actually do what they love and live their dream lifestyle. Good afternoon, Lenka. Oh, hi, hi, Angel. I have 11 p.m. today. <laughs> I have night again. <laughs> but good afternoon. <laughs> and so, guys, um, there are five areas, five, uh, five steps, five activities, probably, that you need to do every single day in order to succeed in your online business and actually leave everything behind you and just enjoy the lifestyle that you dream about. So first one is every single morning when you wake up, before you do anything else, just give it 10 minutes, that's all it needs, 10 minutes and visualize. Really, you need to put your mindset and your body state or, or the way you want to start your day, you need to put yourself in the situation that it's going to be your best day ever. So you need to visualize actually your dream lifestyle. You need to be there. You need to feel it, see it, hear it, maybe taste it. If you want to travel, just imagine you are maybe on a beach and you're drinking some cocktails, whatever you want to do. Just imagine you are in that place, in that situation and become part of that reality. And with that mindset, with that feeling, you want to start your day and actually live that day through. Hello, Alan. Hi. <laughs> yes, you are one, uh, one hour behind me. <laughs> Helen, yeah. So uh, really, first thing you want to do every single morning is visualize, visualize you're already part of that new reality and start the day as it's, as it's going to be really the best day ever because you have that great feeling that you already are there, you know what I mean? So second thing, second thing is personal development and uh, you want to give it at least 15 minutes a day. And by personal development, I really mean the mindset. You need to meet with people that already are or have what you dream about what's, or what's your goal. You need to maybe listen to audios, watch some, uh, watch some videos. And you need to hear those people talk. You need to get the new mindset. As Tony Robbins says, like, raise your standards. <laughs> you know, really improve, um, improve um, the millionaire mind. That, that's what you want to do. You know, that, that's, that's something that you cannot actually move forward if you don't change your mindset. You are you have limitations in your head, and uh, you don't even you don't you don't even know that you have blocks from the past, um, the way we were raised, and how how things should uh, should work. So you need to change your thinking, how you see things, how you see reality and possibilities as well, and um, 
the only way how you can do that is really by consistency every single day you're gonna put there the new stuff okay third thing is learning learning every single day and really the knowledge the the techniques uh, how the market works um, and uh, like in my world that would be like learning the traffic the leads um, how to attract the audience, how to talk to customers, how to work with ads, conversions, something that will raise your own value on the market. Because the more knowledge you have, uh, of course, the better confidence you, uh, you, you have. But the value on the market, you can teach so much, uh, so much stuff to your audience and to your customers. And uh, that's actually what I do. Like every single day when I learn something, or, or um, realize something, I always put that thing on my list or when I have really interesting questions from a question from someone and I answer that, um, I really put that on my list and I prepared my content from those ideas. And um, if you learn stuff, then, then the, the help that you will bring to other people, that will be uh, so much more... Um, not only experience, but, but you can like have it in more details. You can have it tested and uh, it will bring so much higher value to others. And says, have you got a video of customer service, hon? I need to learn. Customer service, um, what exactly do you mean by customer service? Because um, that's a broad uh, actually topic. If, if you mean like regular B2, uh, B2C business, that's something different than in online. So maybe just um, make make that more concrete for me. <laughs> Thanks. Fourth thing is execution, of course. Execution, guys, because if you're not going to do what other people to you, tell you to do or other people teach you, you are not going to make it. You will never earn anything if you don't do what you have to do, actually. You need to do this stuff. And by that, um, I really mean that... Um, you need to be out there. You need to show up every single day. You need to be consistent and people have to see you. And if they don't see you, they forget you. Nobody, sorry, but nobody cares about you. Nobody really does. They are looking for answers. And if you're giving them the answers and you're helping them, either like on a daily basis, they feel they can trust you and that uh, you are there for them anytime they need. And that they have your guidance and they feel safe with you. People want to feel safe. And if you build that feeling, that will, um, that will help you to actually uh, build that trust and people will come to you to buy from you. You need to execute <clears throat> really um, by, you can just put that content like in, in regular content, forums like videos you can you can do live broadcasts like me you can you can do blog posts at the beginning if you're not ready for video uh, right from the start you can do podcasts you don't have to be on video you can just make uh, uh, make a recording on, on a vo uh, of your voice and that's the same thing because when people listen to you and 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 uh, like on their um What's it called? <laughs> I just totally lost the word. When they have, their, uh, have you in, in your ears and listen to your voice, that's almost, almost, not, not as good as video, but it's almost like the second best thing you can do uh, because they have you in their head. They listen to your voice. So that's something personal as well. So you can only record the audio and actually build your podcast channel. That, that, you know, like there are so many resources how you can actually put the content out there and help others. Fifth, fifth thing, and that's like absolute key because uh, with execution, I, I may add that you need to put an hour in an execution, but uh, with, the, with the fifth one, is, that's the most important part. You need to actually connect, start conversations, connect, engage with other people you need to uh answer their questions communicate conversate uh, you need to build the relationships of course long-term loyal relationships and you need to prospect network and prospect and close the sales 
and um, really if you if that's not happening you need to follow up all of that conversation for it that's the key two hours per day that's a must two hours per day focus on that really turn on everything because uh, I personally actually struggle with struggle with that because people are like going at me with uh, on messenger and on other social media and I tend to respond and when an email comes or something like that I I hardly focus on one activity I do like three at the same time always so when you are talking to people and really communicate communicating with them you need to focus on that and uh, talk to those people and concentrate on what they got to say uh, so that's the number one Oops, <laughs> number one money making activity, start the conversation, communicate, engage, a prospect, follow up, close the sales. So without that, without executing and actually building those relationships and communication, you are not going to make it. And if you ever want to fire your boss, <laughs> you need to at least start with these two. But of course, those first three, they may not seem as important. But if you don't stretch your mindset, if you don't develop, if you don't learn, you will fall behind because you will never be in that mindset to actually leverage it into a level where you can do anything you want. So really focus on the personal development and on the learning part as well. And without a vision, <laughs> it's going to be hard to build your mindset. So I have a hair here and it's so... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Ellen, how to talk to customers and sell my services. You know, Ellen, I, I will probably get to you after broadcast and we can talk about that. Okay? Yeah, I will, I will, I will get to you personally. <laughs> so guys, that's, those are those five, five, thing, um, five things <clears throat> you need to visualize every single morning for 10 minutes to start the best day ever that you're there and Feel your new real reality. Number two, for 15 minutes, you want to, thanks, <laughs> you need to uh, really focus on personal development. For an hour, you need to use, you need to learn something new every single day as, as a practical part. Learn how to, maybe Alan needs to know how to talk to customers and sell services. So that's something to new, something to learn maybe for, for several weeks or, or practice for several weeks in order to learn that skill. So number four is the execution. He has to go and try the stuff that he will learn. That's another hour of the day. And number five, you need to conversate, communicate, engage, prospect, network, all of that, that is important. Two hours, the biggest money-making activity. If you master this, you and you really, as I said at the beginning, you need that's four hours. If you have less, just divide the time, but make it like the proportion, make it the same. If you have two hours, divide it by two. Okay. And if you don't have two hours, don't tell me you don't have two hours per day. You can always go to bed later <laughs> or get up early when I needed something to have done. I needed to do something. I can stay up like until 3 a.m., no excuses. See, I am here 11 p.m. doing my life because I just don't have, that's not possible for me to do it during the day. You can see that when I do broadcast during the day, it's absolutely <laughs> pointless because I cannot broadcast with my kids. And uh, it's too noisy and everything distracting. And uh, I do a lot of calls at night because the, the, the time zones, Europe versus the rest of the world, that fits the best. So I make no excuses. During the day, I am the stay-at-home mom. At night, I work at my business. And if it's if it has to be not done, I sleep two, three hours. So I do because I know that it's going to be in a short period of time. It's going to be so worth it. So guys, those are five things to fire your boss. Five things you need to do to succeed in your business so you can actually walk up to your boss and not to quit, but to fire him. So, see you next time. It was nice talking to you and uh, I'll see you tomorrow, probably at the same time. Okay, bye-bye.